Hello, my name is Stephen Edwards and I'm Technical Support Manager at Kenwood for the UK and Ireland. And in this short video, I would like to talk to you about the emergency facilities of a lot of Kenwood radios. Now, during this demonstration, we're using a couple of the 3000 series. And as you can see on here, they have both got nice orange buttons on the side. Some of the range of Kenwood radios don't have the orange button, but still have the emergency capability. However, some of the low tier radios do not have as comprehensive an emergency functions as I'll be showing here. Starting here, you can see we have the orange buttons on the side and these radios are set up in DMR mode and working back to back. And one radio is the base and one radio is the mobile. On the side of the radio is a orange emergency button, which you can see here. If I push this button rapidly, so it's knocked when it's on a belt clip or whatever, as you're moving around, that doesn't trigger the emergency. I have to push and hold this button and I can determine the time. And in this case, it's one second. And the radio has now gone to emergency. And you can see that it's now transmitting and I'm not doing anything. And you can hear the audio arriving on this radio. You can also hear the beep, beep, beep audio. Now what that is for is on the receiving radio, all of the receiving radios hear this and they know that this is an emergency transmission. So even though the radio has said emergency and keeps on saying that, you still have an audio bell indication that this is an emergency transmission. And what that also means is during the emergency protocol that's going on, as this radio may go into transmit and out of transmit, you always know which radio is transmitting. Uh, a very, very nice, simple little feature. And as you can see, that is remaining in transmit. Now, it will remain in transmit for a predetermined time, and you can adjust how that happens. And you can see now it is exiting the emergency, and that emergency is now finished. These radios are currently set up that when I push the emergency button, it makes a noise so as the user knows that it's gone to emergency mode. And that works incredibly well in most cases. However, if you're a security guard and you're working on a door of a nightclub, then the last thing you want is when you push your emergency button to get help, that the people around you causing trouble know that help is on the way. So what you do is you reconfigure this for silent operation and it still works in exactly the same way. You push the button and a short term later, programmable amount of time, it goes into transmit. So all of the other radios, your colleagues in this circumstance, would be hearing the beep, beep, beep. They know it's an emergency. It says which radio, so they know it's you. And hopefully they know where you are. And they will then come to your assistance. And all the time, because you know this, you can then speak very, very loudly or shout and shouting information that will be of assistance to the people that are coming to help you. Uh, this is just a typical way that the technology is responding to the user requirement. So although we have a number of ways of addressing this emergency button, there are so many different scenarios out there that what we have done is given you a toolkit of configuration that allows you to make the emergency work exactly as your uh, end user requires. For further information on exactly how the emergency facilities work within the Kenwood radios, please contact your Kenwood dealer or contact Kenwood directly at the uh, website shown below. 